Okay, we're going to give you a little demo of um, Ubuntu 32-bit. Uh, we're going to start with loading Firefox. This is going to show you how to download the source code and uh, the necessary compilers in order to compile and use my LEGO Mindstorms utilities on Linux. So let's start by searching for BrickCC, the Bricks Command Center. Click on there. We're going to open this page. There's lots of information on this page. You should check it out. Uh, we'll scroll down to the downloading section here. Let's see, there it is. And click the latest version. This will take you to the Bricks, the Source Forge file section, but we want the code. So we'll click on the word code. And then when this page loads, I'll click HTTP because we want the SVN link for HTTP access. We'll copy all of this except for the last bit after the word code. Copy that to our clipboard. And then we'll go back to, we'll launch the terminal window, and then we will try and pull the source code. So we'll paste, sorry, go first to our desktop, and then we will paste in what we have in our clipboard. And we're going to type in the folder name of BrickCC. Oh, and it shows that uh, with a brand new Ubuntu install, we don't have Subversion installed. So we will execute the command it says here, and we will install it as a super user so we'll type yes to here and this takes a little bit of time so in just a second I'm gonna pause the re video recording and uh, I will come back when it has completed okay so that's all done so we're gonna go ahead and paste in our command type the folder name brick CC and press enter and this is going to start pulling code over HTTP from SourceForge. It goes very fast until it gets to the x64 folder, which contains some binary images, 64-bit binaries for Linux. So when it gets there, I'm going to cut the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so it's almost done. <coughs> Okay, let's have a look. Let's see, ls brick cc. See what, or just say ls, and there's the brick cc folder. Okay, and we're gonna go get some more source code because we, for some utilities, we need uh, some source code for a Pascal script. So we'll Google Pascal script, and then GitHub because that's on the GitHub site. There it is. Okay, click there, and then on this page when it loads. Taking a bit. Click over here where it says subversion. And then click on the little button that says copy to clipboard here. And that will copy the URL into our. So we need to type SVN and then CO for checkout. And then we're going to paste our URL. And then we are going to add slash trunk and then the folder name Pascal script. And hopefully that works thinking there we go so it pulls all the Pascal script let's see what that looks like ls Pascal script and that looks perfect okay so what do we need now let's see let's see okay we want to see if we're ready to communicate with the brick so let me hook up my USB device I need to set up a filter in VirtualBox for the Lego NXT and now let's see if it shows up in the slash dev folder. So slash dev, ls slash dev. And there aren't any devices here that sound like the Lego NXT. It's a USB connection. So it's probably in here somewhere. But we want to follow the instructions on the NBC website. So we're going to go over here. We're going to Google BrickCC space NBC. That should give us a link to the NBC website. Here it is. Let's click there. And then lots of information here that you should have a look at. We're going to go to the NBC Docs page here. Okay. And then scroll down to the Linux slash Mac OS X communication support. We're going to save the 45-lego nxt.rules file. Put that in our downloads folder. We'll save that. Okay, and then we're going to 
open the NXT Linux communication page. It gives the information that we need to follow. So let's click on that link. Okay. And now we're going to use our terminal window and execute the commands that it tells us to execute. So sudo add group lego NXT. That will create a group for the device, for all the users of that device. Now we're going to add ourselves to that group. Sudo add group sorry add user and my username is John and then a group name Lego NXT that worked now we're gonna have a look at that file we just downloaded so let's go into our downloads folder and then let's have a look at the contents of 45-lego nxt.rules and see if it matches what's in this in step 3 it shows you what the content should look like so let's move the window out of the way have a quick look at that. It looks, yep, that looks like it matches exactly like it should. I think that's great. Now we have step four. <coughs> so we want to sudo copy 45-lego nxt.rules to slash etc slash udev slash rules dot d. Make sure that's right. Yeah, that looks right. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to unplug and replug my NXT just to give it a chance to uh, notice that it's a d newly connected device and that should cause it to show up in the in slash dev properly. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my USB filter again for that one there and then I'm going to go ahead and ls slash dev. And here we see that we have, as step five says, we should have a Lego NXT dash X dash Y, in this case, dash two dash two. So that is perfect. Now we're not going to do the Bluetooth stuff right now. We're going to go ahead and close this. You should read the instructions and follow them for setting up Bluetooth communication. We're going to go ahead and uh, before we close the browser, we're going to go get Lazarus and Free Pascal. So let's Google Lazarus and then we want uh, some Debian packages so Lazarus Deb and then enter and then okay so the browse files at source words let's click on that link and then this will take us to the list of all the different files we can download different uh, platforms so we want the i386 Deb but if you're using Red Hat you would want the RPMs instead and if you're using 64-bit you'd get the 64-bit now 108 is what the make files are configured for, but we're going to download the latest version, 1.0.10. And there are three files here. We need all three. So let's go ahead and download the source for Free Pascal, the binaries for Free Pascal. And so that's the binaries now. And then lastly, we're going to download. The Lazarus IDE for graphical tools. Free Pascal is pretty much purely command line. All right, so those are downloading. Let's check and see their status. I'm going to pause the video for a second and come back when it's done. Okay. And now we're done downloading everything we need. So I think we can go ahead and close the browser. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to install these. We're not going to use the software center. We're not going to use, we're going to use the, the, the command line utility to install these packages.